So what are the pros and cons of LED lighting? Uh, with LED lighting, it's like the newest style of lighting, the new type of bulbs and fixtures that you can buy, and there's a lot of uh, good and bad reasons to purchase them. And uh, just knowing the differences will help you make a decision when purchasing your LED lighting. So uh, first of all, we'll go over the uh, pros. Now, LED lighting um, is the newest technology, so uh, it's going to be the um, you're going to have the most options in types of LED lighting. Um, it's the most energy efficient. So because uh, LED is the most energy efficient, uh, it's gonna use the least amount of energy to operate in your home. So whether it's just one bulb or all the bulbs in your home, uh, it'll reduce the amount of electricity that's being used um, on your electric bill, and therefore your electric bill will be reduced. So the more LED that you use in your home, uh, the cheaper your electric bill will be. <clears throat> now, uh, LED can be dimmable. Uh, there are a couple options, and we've talked about that in other videos, but uh, you can dim them uh, with a special dimmer, and uh, they do last a long time, so uh, the life of an LED, stand, the standard LED is gonna be about 20 years, give or take, uh, based on the manufacturer. Uh, that is not the warranty, but uh, that is just the general life of LED uh, lighting. Um, when they test it, so uh, just keep that in mind that the warranty is a little bit different than the life of the bulb. So that's the expected life uh, of the bulb. Now, <clears throat> so LED also has um, uh, many sizes and actual colors uh, that you can get. Uh, most manufacturers make different, L the most common LED bulbs will come in about three colors, two or three colors, uh, being soft white, uh, cool white, or daylight. And uh, we've talked about the color spectrum on other videos, but basically you're looking at like 2700, uh, about a 3500 to 4000 degree Kelvin, and then uh, a 5000 to 6000 degree Kelvin uh, bulb. So you have a few options in colors as well. And one other thing, most LED bulbs that you purchase are going to be uh, directly interchangeable with the traditional incandescent type bulbs, just the regular screw in type bulbs. Uh, there are a variety of other LED bulbs that are available uh, retail. Um, so there's, you have the medium base type bulbs, you'll have a few uh, candelabra type bulbs, which are the smaller bulbs, usually using like a chandelier. And then also a few intermediate base, which is not common at all. Um, you might find some in GU24 base, uh, so, and there's others. But uh, most LED manufacturers now are making direct replacements for a standard um, old fashioned type incandescent bulb in a variety of bases. So one of the cons of LED lighting is the cost of the, the bulb up front. So over the counter when you purchase it off the shelf, uh, you're looking at um, probably about 10 times the cost of a, a regular bulb that you're used to purchasing. Now, you can get them at discounted prices if you, if you search and depending on the manufacturer and things like that. Uh, but cost is going to be extremely high. Uh, up front and that's uh, over the counter when you make that initial purchase. LED lighting is extremely finicky with uh, extreme temperatures, so very high temperatures and very low temperatures, uh, such as like an appliance bulb that might be in an oven or a refrigerator, um, as well as you know outdoors in extreme temperature ranges. Now also LED is finicky with uh, moisture, uh, such as areas that we get a lot of direct moisture from sprinklers or like a shower or uh, rain or something like that. Uh, LED lighting is not good in those situations as well. And also um, vibration and things like that. So LED lighting uh, can be finicky about those things, uh, which can reduce the life of the bulb. Um, uh, and for that matter, actually, if you use the incorrect type of dimmer, uh, it will also reduce the life of the bulb. So uh, just keep that in mind uh, when you are considering purchasing an LED bulb. So I hope that helps with pros and cons of LED bulbs.